Hello, so in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can bulk download all of your files from Google Classroom. So we actually don't do this in Google Classroom. You see here that um, on my student test account I've got my student work, however if I go and try and download all these it doesn't allow me to download them all at the same time. So the way to get around this is that we go over to our waffle board over here which is our Google Apps, we go to Google Drive the same thing occurs on the PC too, and the, PC, and the um, Windows laptops as well. Um, Mac uh, works slightly differently. Um, we'll turn that off. Okay, so we go to Classroom. So all of your um, student accounts have Classroom um, folder, and we go over to, let's say, our test class, which is our art class. And here are all of our images that we have uploaded to our task. So what I can do is I can select this one at the bottom here or at the top. I scroll to the top and I press shift on the keyboard and I click once and it selects all of those um, images. So all I need to do now is go to our um, single waffle for more actions and we click on download. Some of you might actually have a download icon there already, just click on that one. Right, so what is happening now is that on the Google servers it is zipping it is compressing all the files into one file called a zip, a zip file. Um, it takes some time for this to happen. There we go, they're all zipped now and it's about to start downloading shortly. Here we go. <clears throat> so remember it zips the file on the Google server and then you need to download the file itself and this is the stage where it's downloading the file. Just wait for that to keep on going. All right, so that is downloaded. So now I can go to show in folder, or you just simply go to your um, uh, file explorer, or um, this is on the files app on the Chromebook, same thing. And this is that our zip file right now. So this file is huge. Um, all you need to do now to use it on any other program, let's say you want to load up in a Photoshop or if, let's say if you have some video footage and you want to use a video footage, you need to unzip the file. So you need to um, right click on the file. Um, if you can't right click with the mouse, you press, um, I think it was Alt click and then you come up with these options. So here you should have um, extract all. Um, on Windows I believe it is just to um, extract click on extract and now you have a folder here that has all the files ready to you. So they're all your files on the computer, locally on your computer and there you go. So you can use that. Um, if you uh, have a BYOD device, a better option here would be to download a program called um, um, Google Backup and Sync, log in with your student account details and you can um, use Google Drive just as though you were using um, any other folder locally on your computer. Um, that'll be all for this one. Thank you. Bye.